Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, today here in Minnesota it's uh, unseasonably nice. We're middle of uh, January. It's like 42 degrees out right now. So I was getting a little bored inside and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go out and I'm going to cut some boards. I've got a lot of logs you guys saw sitting out there that have to be cut into boards. And today, since there's snow on the ground and I don't want to lift the logs onto my little uh, setup for milling with my MK3 Alaskan chainsaw mill, I'm going to use the little micro mini chainsaw mill so I can stand those logs like you saw the one straight up and down and just cut them this way and just let the gravity of the saw do most of the work. So the first thing we got to do to run this mill, or any mill for that matter, is we're going to have to have one straight side. So this is the easiest one. There's no measuring or anything, but you got to make sure that you're not like right at the end because you would only be able to put your 2x4 in increments a little way. So you got to stay in a little bit. Look at the pretty grain in that one, huh? Wow. Okay, so after I got that cut, I pull my 2x4 and I'm going to put it here. we got to get our first cut and then from there we can move it over an inch or whatever we want to and continue cutting boards. So now when the 2x4 is still connected, go ahead and butt into it. And I like to do mine an inch and a quarter because, first of all, the chainsaw doesn't cut real good. And I'm not using a ripping blade, which would, you know, help things out a lot. Uh, but if I go inch and a quarter, if I get any warping in it or anything like that, when I run it through the planer, you've got a little bit more to work with. Also, go from, from the board to an inch and a quarter. If you pull this off and hook onto the here, you lose this 3 eighths of an inch and you're going to end up with a board that's only 7 eighths of an inch. So I made that mistake once already. I think I'm going to touch up this uh, blade here. I mean, I keep wanting to get a ripper blade. This one actually feels pretty sharp. But I also want to get a steel 660. So why would I want to spend the blade on a ripper if I'm going to get a bigger chainsaw? And then I think I should probably just get a regular sawmill. So I'm always kind of torn between what I'm going to be doing. Wow. 
longer logs and stuff. And like I said, if I wanted to kneel on the ground, uh, I would be using my Alaskan MK3. Well, we'll see if that helps any getting through this. This is all wild black cherry, so it's a pretty hard wood, but can't hurt to sharpen it up a little bit. Okay everyone, well that's all I'm going to do for right now. i got to get chores done here before dark. And now I'm going to switch over and I'm going to cut them going this way. Because most of the boards that you use in any type of furniture and cabinetry is mostly smaller style work. So I always like to get a few big ones out of it and then get some small ones. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. See you guys on the next video.